Hi everybody, I'm Michaela, Yannick Puissant's daughter, and I'm here today to talk to you about what I keep in my beach bag versus what would be taken to the beach in 1902. So here was your kind of classic beach bag. Really, like imagine if this got wet, what would you do? So a bathing suit back in 1902 would look something like this. So here's your top half. You would put this on, and then you would put this skirt on. My skirt, like on a regular day, isn't even this long, so. And then you would put these under your skirt. So you would wear all of that, and then you would try and swim. I don't know how that worked, but apparently it did. And here I have an example of what I would wear to the beach, and that looks a little bit more like this. So I've got these bottoms, which, I mean, they would probably look at these as like floss back then. My dad does too, but sorry dad. And then this would be more the top. So if you compare those two, it's kind of not really the same at all. Other things that they would probably bring to the beach with them include a little change purse, which I have an example of right in here. So if they wanted ice cream or some frozen ice, anything really, they would buy that with their change purse. I would bring, let's see, what else is in here? A wallet as well, but my wallet is a lot bigger than the little change purse they used. And I know, personally, when I go to the beach, I go to tan. I love being tan. But back in 1902, that wasn't really their thing. So they would carry around one of these. And they would open it and they would protect themselves from the sun. Me, I bring, and if I use it, that's a different story. But I will just bring some sunscreen, and I'll probably only put that on my face because, like I said, my goal is to get really tanned. Which, I know it's not the best for me, I'm gonna age quickly and it's unhealthy, but I love it. What can I say? So, some couple other things I'd bring to the beach are a book. John Green's my favorite, so I'd bring one of his books to read. I would probably bring, I have this towel here, just to lay on the sand. I would bring some flip-flops, which back in 1902, they wore like complete tie-up shoes with a cork sole, so it was hot on the sand, but I'll go barefoot or I'll wear flip-flops. I will bring my phone for music, so my friends and I can listen, probably headphones, or I'll play it out of the speakers. My favorite, I don't know if you've heard about them, Five Seconds of Summer, my favorite band. I'll be blowing them on the beach. Some sunglasses. These are actually really cool, they fold up. So I'd probably bring these with me, block myself in the sun. And that's about all I would bring to the beach, but I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot to take with you. And if you look at this bag, you can kind of see that it's plastic inside. So if it got wet or covered in sand, that'd be fine. But like I said before, if this got wet, you'd be looking at lugging 20 pounds home. So for my hair, in 1902, I'd probably wear this, like a loose French braid for a kind of sporty look. But nowadays I'll just take that out. I never do my hair always just one big puffy mess. So I'll take that out and if I was going to the beach, I would just do this. Put my hair up and this would be my perfect beach hairdo. Done in 10 seconds and I think it's fine. So they would put on their bathing suit, they would take all these things with them and then what would women do on the beach? Well, they would kind of just run into the waves and laugh, which sounds like fun, but I feel like if you're there for a couple hours, that would get A, tiring and B, kind of boring. So nowadays what people do is women are allowed to surf, we boogie board, if, depending on where you are, you can parasail. There's so many options, but in 1902, women didn't really have those options. So they just kind of galloped and laughed in the waves. So you can see what I bring in 2014 and what your average woman would bring in 1902. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that little now and then segment. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye. Oh, 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 oh,